Well, hello, friends, neighbors. John, your whiskey neighbor here, and welcome down in the nook. You know, there's only a few weekends, I think three before St. Patrick's Day, and I thought, okay, I better share a few more Irish bottles so you guys can consider, you know, what should I bring to a, a nice Irish party or even just relax with on St. Patrick's Day. So today, we're going to look at actually another release from the busker. It wasn't that long ago that I took a look at their uh, their entrance blend. But this is uh, one of their other three single releases, and this is uh, their single malt release. So if you've got any Irish single malt, why don't you pour a dram? And when you come back, I'll talk about the busker, their single malt. Three, four. As I said in the opener, it was only you know about a month back that I reviewed uh, this, the Busker, their blend, because it's fairly affordable and it was part of a value series. This is actually fairly affordable in my market too, but it's got some, some interesting things, differences uh, to their regular blend. First of all, it's released at 44, well, first of all, I should say, it's a single malt. So this is all malted barley, right? Where this is a blend of their single malt, their pot still and their single grain. Uh, this is just single malt. Uh, it is released at a stronger proof as well. So it's 44.3%. Um, and and uh, in my market, uh, as I said, I shot this other one kind of as a, as a, as a value series. And this ended up being a pretty good value too. I found it on the shelf uh, for $42. So I think you can probably get it around the $45 range, which in my neighborhood, it's pretty good. So uh, let's see what we get. Oh, for casking on this, um, I believe it is just X bourbon and X sherry. It's from the Royal Oak Distillery. Um, more than that, uh, there's certainly no age stamp on it, but we know the, you know, the proof point and the casking. Let's see what this single malt tells us. That's it's a very fruity nose. This is like lots of. Of, you know cut orchard fruit but then a creamier sweeter fruit i'm not saying banana but you know there's a little bit of that creaminess inside that fruit or with that fruit it's a little bit of alcohol in the nose some spicing some um boy what would that spicing be or maybe it's light oak yeah when i breathe breathe in through my mouth um Maybe uh, maybe it's a little bit of caramel. Yeah, but there was a dusting of something. I'll come back to it maybe after I have a sip. But the nose, I think uh, I think you'll notice pretty quickly that um, this is really a rich, uh, fruity nose. Nice vanillas, good caramel, and there's a little bit of dusty. It's not quite cinnamon, but something going on. All right, let's try it on the palate. Slaja. That's a very tasty, enjoyable palate. Lots of fruit, um, like a fruit cup, and I am getting just an edge of banana, but like lots of uh, a pear sweetness, a um, little bit of apple tartness, um, and then and then just some 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 sugared sweet fruits. As I play with it in my mouth, I kept it quite a while there. I can get some malt sugars and a creaminess that is really quite a delight. Let's try another sip. Second sip, or you know, the early finish, and as you talk through the evening enjoying this, um, I feel the finish speaks some, some oaking, some light, light char, but there's a little bit of bitterness on the back end of it. It's not in the palate, certainly not in the nose, but there is a tiny bit of bitterness that sometimes really balances. And this is a sweet malt, so it, it might play out well for you, but it's a little bit of that metallic bitterness. I know I got it on that one that I am getting in here, whether it's youth or somewhere in the process that just keeps it from being a runaway favorite. Having said that, if you can't tell from my demeanor, you know, for 
like I said, $42, $45 Canadian, single malt, 44%. This to me is pretty much a must buy. Like it's it's easily a three and a half, three and three quarter for me. I, I genuinely like it. I haven't had it open long and um, and I really like it. I, I do. And certainly for that price, uh, if you're looking for, uh, like it's lighter, sweeter um, than, than a typical scotch, like it's a single malt, right? So it's all malted barley, but... But, and I don't know if they triple distill like just about every Irish distillery, but it is light and floral and vanilla forward and sweet. And if you like that, but you like a little bit of that, I always say nut, but that's not how it is. That kind of that creamy, that cer not cereal, um, well, a little cream of wheat is kind of a cereal, but that I can kind of get from a, a malted barley. I think it'd be worth checking out. I like it. I thought a natural uh, choice to compare it just right now live with you guys is to look at, you know, the the, the blend, the busker at 40%. And as I said quickly in the opener, now it's got its single grain, it's got single pot still, it's got um, this single malt in here. It also um, age, I don't know if they marry in Marsala wine cast, but they say, you know, bourbon, sherry, and I think it's Marsala wine cast. So this is just the busker blended Irish on the nose. So some of the same descriptors, right? You know, sweet and fruity. Let's just do a quick comparison. Oh, comparison richer, some light Christmas spices. Now I am getting a bit of cinnamon, little bit of nutmeg, going back to the, just the busker. Yeah, and now this, this absolutely is a fruit cup. It's light, it's fruity, it's honey, honeysuckle. Yeah, much, much lighter, missing some some spice depth or maybe oak. The palate, sláinte. It's lighter in the palate, it's thinner, um, continues to be quite sweet. And there is, I think it's got to be the Marsala cast, there is a bit of a wine finish fruiting that I don't get in um, the single malt. Having said that, it, it, uh, comparing these two for me, like like the, in my market, you know, 35, 45, I would pay, you know, 35, 65 for this. I like this a lot more. Like just if I'm kind of, you know, ratio comparing, this starts to go back down towards pretty much a three, and this is easily a three, three quarter, star rating, whatever you want to call it. I just find this a nicer dram. As always, it's my palate. And, and I try to do a comparison like this, or I try to describe some flavors, and, uh, and it hopefully have the time to maybe catch a couple of my other videos, because because it's almost like you got to know, okay, what does John like? And then you can say, well, I might like that, I might not, because, you know, whiskey is is better shared, uh, is a better group activity, but when you try to break it down and say, I like this or I like that, sometimes that's, well, it's always just personal preference. In this sitting, personally, I prefer their single malt a lot more. This is really a surprise and certainly for the price. Thanks for joining me here. Hope you guys have a great weekend.